Woo, came out of that dive with no problem. All right, what's going on guys? It's about time. I started in FPV with the DJI Vada, went straight into manual mode, didn't even bother with normal mode. And now I need something a little bit faster, a little bit more agile. So I went with the iFlight uh, Nazgul Evolt. And this is a uh, five inch F5 and it's the dead cat uh, configuration, the dead cat frame. And it also has the DJI 03 air unit. This will be my first flight with it. You guys are gonna come along with my first reaction with a what some people call a real FPV drone. So you guys just stick around and we'll get right into the flight. So if you like drone and tech reviews and tutorials, please consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that notification bell for future content. Hi guys, so this is Chad from the future. I just took a look at the DVR on the air unit and just realized that my initial flight did not record. So you won't have 4K footage on this one. You'll be the goggle footage, but on the next flight after that, you'll see the 4K footage that I recorded. All right, so let's get to flying. All right, we're all powered up. I have the drone out there. I got everything hooked up on my uh, goggles. Let me start the recording for the goggles. I'm gonna start my goggles recording and then the air unit should record uh, automatically. I have my resident uh, expert here, Corey over here, give me some advice on my first flight with the Nazgul. And I already have my stuff set up, so let's see if I can arm. All right, I'm in horizontal mode. I'm just gonna go straight into air mode. And Corey, watch out because no telling. Yeah, right. at any time you feel it getting away from you, just disarm. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. So much power on this. I barely even got the throttle up, man. Holy crap. I gotta check your props. It sounds like yeah. it might be loose. Okay. Yeah, I hear it too. I hear the little whining. All right, so what I'm gonna do is uh, fly it around for a couple seconds, or a couple minutes. It's a little snappy too, man. Ooh, got some hang time on there, man. <laughs> Holy crap, I like that. Didn't waste no time with the <laughs> straight to the flips and rolls. Holy crap. Yeah, I hear that whining. It doesn't sound good. You said 3.5? Yep. Shit, I'm down to like, damn, that's a, <laughs> definitely not the Avada, man. I'm already down to 3.6. Sometimes if you let up off the throttle, you'll see your battery go back up. Okay. But uh, the first, I'd say maybe five flights, mm -hmm. the uh, battery is still breaking in. Yeah. What is my speed? Uh, where's my speed? No miles per hour. Say I'm going like 38, 40 miles per hour already. Damn. All right, yeah, I'm at 3.6 still. Whoa, whoa, getting away from me. 
This thing got like oh, so. Oh, uh, you're getting close to that branch. Yeah. <laughs> Holy crap, man. This thing is like you're not used to it flying a damn Avada, man. You're not used to the speed. It you actually. You didn't even bother with 4S. You went straight to what's what's Yeah, up. 6S. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that image looks good. I don't even know if I'm recording on my my thing. Oh, what was that? Something happened. Yeah, it was felt like something. It jerked to something. Yeah, I saw that uh, a little side. It might be that prop getting really loose. Yeah, let me get over here. I don't even know how to freaking land this joint. Yeah. <laughs> Holy crap. That was uh, intense right there. Let me go check this prop here. All right, so we're taking a little break, or I'm taking a little break right now. A uh, little intense for the first flight. Uh, just went over a couple things in beta flight and stuff just to make sure everything's good. Uh, Corey is actually uh, flying his drones. Let him fly and then I'm going to get back on and, you know, attempt it again and see how it feels. This is definitely different. I can tell you it's definitely different. Like I said, this is um, my first time with this type of FPV drone and the throttle is, you know, a lot more than the Avada and uh, that takes a little bit of getting used to. And another thing I wanted to say, I did want to ask you guys, if you are liking this, if you're enjoying this, if you find this useful, please give it a thumbs up because this does help YouTube push it out to more people who are searching for content such as this. If you are looking for the unboxing, the boxing will be at the end of the video. I'll leave chapters in the description so you can go ahead and forward to that if you want to. But for now, let's get back to flying. changed the uh, motor output to like 75% uh, because it's a little fast right now for me and uh, we're gonna go from there. We also tightened down the propellers. They were a little loose, me being a rookie and all that. <laughs> so uh, everything should be straight now and hopefully we don't hear that whiny noise again uh, when I'm taking off. And right now I'm gonna test the uh, GPS and make sure the GPS rescue to make sure it's uh, working correctly. So we're recording. All right. Okay, yeah, this is a little better. So I need to hover and, and then let me get up to a, cause it's supposed to go up to my max height. So I'm going to like right about there. It's going to be hard for me to hover and land, man. <laughs> you have uh, the GPS or the arrow, home arrow? Yeah, I got the home arrow. Okay. Uh, it's, it? Yep. Okay, yeah. Actually, yeah, it's pointing like. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's pointing to us, yeah. So, hold on. I'm going to just hover over here and then hit it, all right? All right, here we go. All right. GPS rescue is activated and it's 
hitting towards us. Yep, and then to turn it off, just do like a roll or something. All right. So it's coming back though, right? Yep. All right. You remember, we got this tree right in front of us. All right. So let me... Actually, let me deactivate it. Okay. Yeah, so I had to deactivate it. Yeah. All right, turn the homework. Okay, yeah, that works. That's good. <laughs> All right, so this is the iFlight Nazgold Evoke F5D version 2. Now, this one comes with the DJI 03 air unit and also GPS. All right, so let's take a look and see what comes in the box. So we get two sets of propellers. You get some hardware for your uh, GoPro mount. You get a, a screw, a bolt, and a uh, Allen key. This here is the DJI air unit uh, bottom cover. So they take this off and put on a heat sink and they just give you the bottom cover that they took off. We have some extra connectors here. Then you get a baggie here with a few things. A little like an extra battery strap and the antennas for the air unit here. Two antennas. Then you get some extra screws. Your prop screws here and looks like a couple battery mats here. Grip mats. The drone itself. The Evoke. F5D Dead Cat version 2 and it comes with uh, these little directional um, indicators here for uh, beginners like me and also there's a couple more stickers on here one here to uh, pointing you in the right direction to where uh, the pairing button is on the air unit and on the back you have your antenna uh, ports there and then you also have your GPS right here. It also comes with a GoPro mount if you want to strap on a GoPro or any other action camera that you can strap on. And another thing about this, I do like the side panels on the side that protects your electronics from like dust or any uh, droplets. And uh, also this does have uh, LED strips on here that lights up the the legs here um, and also on the side panel so once we get it all hooked up we'll uh, check that out and underneath the drone it comes with uh, instructions on setting up your uh, GPS rescue mode some stickers and some uh, instructions here some type of instructions and also a safe flight checklist here and here's everything laid out for you that comes in a box all right so definitely a little different than the DJI Avada actually a lot different than the DJI Avada it's a fat it's faster a lot more responsive snappier and uh, yeah definitely have to be careful with this one uh, because there's a lot of things I didn't feel comfortable doing uh, because this is a lot faster things come up on you a lot faster <laughs> in the uh, display so uh, we'll be flying this a lot more and it will be a lot more content on this as you remember guys I did start with a simulator and then got the Avada went straight into manual mode I learned a lot on the Avada but you know it was just time to move on to something else not saying I won't be flying the Avada again but wanted to get the experience of flying a quote-unquote real FPV drone so if you like this video, remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you like what you see on the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button and that notification bell for future content. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.